For two years, Curtis Hill has fought the allegations in court before a special prosecutor in front of the Supreme Court Disciplinary Commission and in the media. Quote, we find and conclude that respondent committed the criminal act of battery, reads the Supreme Court ruling. Quote, he committed battery against a legislator and three legislative staffers. That's what a special prosecutor found, too, but he declined to pursue criminal charges. Said the Supreme Court, quote, Respondent's criminal conduct was prejudicial to the administration of justice. The court concludes the respondent violated professional conduct rules. The court suspends respondent from the practice of law in this state for a period of 30 days, beginning May 18, 2020. There's no good news in all of this for anyone and everyone that's involved in this specific um, case, but suffice it to say, my position, my personal position, um, has not changed since I reviewed the facts myself going on about two years ago. Republicans are responsible for Curtis Hill and his conduct. Um, they could have used legislative levers to punish him. They chose not to. The Supreme Court today validated my concerns about Attorney General Hill's tenure in office. I'm running because we need to have a Republican retain that office for Hoosiers. We asked you, Indy political analyst Dr. Laura Wilson, whether this suspension will hurt Hill's re-election chances. I tend to have short-term memories, but being just a few months away from the election, it's going to be up to him to reframe the conversation, to try and detract voters from focusing on this, and really to sell them on other good qualities he has, why they should vote for him despite having this 30-day suspension. Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News. Russ, thank you. We have reached out to the attorneys representing the four women who accused Hill of misconduct for comment. We have not gotten a response.